what's going on everybody welcome to the property in today's video i just want to bring you guys along with some of the things that we have going on all right so here's project one we have our cabin and our fire pit is over here project one it consists of these tall beams that uh, we put in here and the idea was we were going to have an outdoor garden or an outdoor kitchen sorry an outdoor kitchen where we were going to be able to have a, a, a pizza oven and put the grill at well it never turned out because we just quite honestly never really got around to it uh, these two front posts here that you see are going to stay that post are across the top is going to stay too as well we actually have one lane here on the ground that i'll probably end up putting up and this is going to be the entrance way into the back camping area is we're just going to be leveling out the ground here with the tractor taking out these back two posts and then this will be a trail and this is going to be the entrance way into the back area now this back area here is i don't know maybe 100 feet by 100 feet and it's going to be where uh, primitive campsites are going to go and it's going to be able to house probably around four or five tent camp spots with a community fire pit so this is project number one project two this is kind of an extension from the campgrounds that's going to be in this area is this bridge now this is something that's going to be more of a, a primitive bridge there is a trail off the back side of the camping spot and really this is just going to be wood that we plane with the alaskan chainsaw mill that's going to allow people to cross the creek uh, right now the creek is dried up you can see it's seasonal but this is just a mini project this shouldn't take too much time at all and we're just going to put in a couple support beams running across and then lay our boards and it'll provide a nice trail access to the other side of the creek where we uh, hope to put some more camp spots so that's going to be a little sub project so that's project number two project number three involves the pond uh, the pond is one of the highlights of the property we actually didn't even know that the pond was here it was so overgrown there was trees knocked over and I actually fell in the pond probably right in this location when it was winter time and this is all covered with brush for this project we're going to be trying to utilize some of the water we have here and it's going to be a twofold project but here what we'll probably do in this area right here is create some form of bathhouse slash shower not quite sure what it's going to look like yet but we do know it's probably going to involve some slabbed wood, some structure we'll put up, and it'll be a nice little um, area here that you'll be able to come in and take a shower. The water will then run off down into the ground and the creek. And in order to do that, we have to figure out how we get water from the pond, filter it out into some type of water storage. And I think what we're going to do is when we build this, uh, wash house here with it's going to be a stand-up wash house for the most part with a mirror and uh, a shower in it with uh, propane heat but we'll probably have a barrel uh, and a hydraulic ram pump that's going to be right here so a hydraulic ram pump is going to pump water up into the cistern that we're either going to bury or have set right behind all right for project number four this is more for you guys that are into hunting and habitat management this is our micro kill plot this is about 400 yards back into the woods and this is a small little opening here from uh, logging this is one of their staging yards and currently we have there's a lot of weeds in here but there's a lot of clover in this area and what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be installing screen on the back half with uh, a blend from Merit seed and uh, from Ohio and the seed is a mixture of Egyptian wheatgrass and buckwheat so we have a lot of other projects here at the property but we have to prioritize our our time and to get this stuff done so 
be sure to stay tuned with a lot of uh, the other videos. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these projects. We're gonna break these projects down into videos and probably have multi-part videos. But I think I'm, what I'm gonna do today before I wrap this uh, day up is I'm going to take this ditch and we're gonna run this ditch down the side and put it to a connector drain ditch. So I'm gonna actually hop off this video and then start recording that video. So be sure to like the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. You guys got any pointers for swamp land like this? Low, low level land? Go ahead and post them down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it because this is all new to me. We've been building turnpike style roads. We have corduroy roads underneath all of this uh, now. And man, but it's just a pain in the butt. Stay tuned until the next video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys later.